Hi everyone, so the painting is uh, nearing completion, uh, but there are just a few areas that I want to address. The first of which is uh, this uh, chest area sweeps under far too early. So I'm just going to add in some white here to change the, the line. Uh, next, the back dips down too early there. This, this line should continue on this way. So I'm going to pop in a line of white there just for now. I'll add some shadow area to that region in just a moment. Um, and then in addition, I want to go into some more detail on the face and ears. And really enhance this idea that the, the lamb is bathed in light. So I've just got pure titanium white on my brush at the moment. And I'm applying that quite thickly uh, because if you notice, I've left this sheep in the distance very uh, loosely defined. So that makes it seem more distant. This sheep here is quite well defined, but with relatively thin layers of paint. So I thought to bring this lamb forward, if I use thicker paint, then I've got a very thin wash in low level of detail, more detail, but still multiple thin layers and then thicker layers here also in detail. So we've got a distinct three uh, levels of distance within our painting. So let's add uh, or enhance the shadow there and um, that shadow region can extend all the way down into the corner of the, the painting. And we need to extend part of the shadow on the head.
That's it. This little trap's looking a, a bit healthier now. Um, and I think all I need to do now is just add a couple of dark lines here and the odd highlight here and there on the head. And then I think we'll call that one pretty much done. So back with the titanium white again. adding uh, a sense of fluffiness to the ears. And we can do the same for the chest. And let's, let's do a few along the back as well. Now switching back to the orangey brown that I used earlier on. Just pick out a few areas where the light is catching the wool on the head of the animal. And in doing that, we kind of break up the divide between the regions of light and dark. So it makes the description of this little lamb a, a, a bit less blocky and more of a continuous thing. And we can use that same color to have a few fraying bits of, of wool. And just a hint of this colour to break up the region of dark shadow that we put in a little earlier on. We could even use that same colour to just pick out a little highlight in the eye. And then I think the last thing I want to do is just add an area of bluey green shadow on the face here. So let's uh, let's pop that bit of sh greeny bluey shadow in there. And that's just going to provide us with a sense of the light reflected off of the grass onto the sheep's wool. We could even we could even include some there as well. 
just to bring things to life uh, a little bit more than they were. And then um, I also want to add some little bursts of uh, pure yellow in the grass. So a few uh, final adjustments. I want to soften this region of uh, yellow next to the chin of the lamb. So I'm just using a mix of Silurian blue and yellow ochre there. But looking at it now, I think in fact I'm going to darken that green even further. So I've now added some ultramarine blue to the mix. And while I've got that on the brush, I'll use that same colour to introduce some blades of gra grass in shadow in front of the legs of the sheep here. And I still want to make that darker. So now using a mix of the ultramarine blue but with cadmium yellow, And with a larger brush, I've now darkened that region. And again, I'll use this mix to put in some shadowy blades of grass. And I think we'll call that one finished now. So all I need to do is sign the painting. So I've uh, put my little monogram and the year in there. And now uh, this painting is ready to photograph and I can put it straight up on my website. So having taken a photo of the painting uh, out in the natural daylight, I'm now uh, just checking my website because I've uploaded the image to make it available to the public. Uh, let's just find the gallery for sheep paintings. And here we go. This is the image we want. So uh, I've got a title here which says Sheep and Lamb on the Moor. And that's simply a title which is Google friendly. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit to the right, you can see the description and there I give my artistic title. So I've called this one Purple Light and Shadows and then there's a description of the painting below that. But if we scroll back up, what's really cool is that if you want to have a close up look at the brushwork, then all you need to do is move the cursor over to the part of the painting you want to look at, click your mouse once and then you get a full resolution preview loaded up so you can really see you know, the close-up detail of the brushwork that I've used. Um, should you happen to want to buy the original, then you can click the, on this button here, and that sends an email directly to me, and then you can ask any questions you want, and, you know, chat about, we can chat about sort of delivery. But equally, if you want a print or some home decor with this design on, then you just click on the section that you want, uh, and there are lots of different products to uh, choose from. So let's finish this series of videos with another look at the finished painting. This is Purple Light and Shadows. I hope you've enjoyed watching these videos. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.